There are over 7 billion people on this planet, each of us with our own talents and quirks that make us special and unique. Still, with variety that wide, it can be pretty hard to stand out at times, which makes it all the more impressive when someone comes along who is so incredible that they blow everyone away. Whether it be through physical or artistic talent, there are individuals out there who amaze the world through sheer will and dedication. Today we're going on a journey to get to know these people who've truly shocked the world. What's so special about them? Let's find out. Jeff Dabe While some people like participating in team sports, Jeff Dabe found his passion was for arm wrestling. One look at him and it's not hard to see that he's a total prodigy. <laughs> <laughs> he absolutely crushes the competition with his massive 50 centimeter arms. Starting his arm wrestling career in the 70s, people's jaws would drop at the sheer proportions of the young man, and as he grew, so did his arms, earning him the affectionate nickname Popeye. And I can definitely see the resemblance. At one point, Jeff went a little too hard, and his muscle popped during a competition. However, this didn't deter him, and after about 15 years of rehabilitation, Jeff returned to the world of arm wrestling. This time, only using his left arm, a feat that's practically unheard of in the sport. But with Jeff's proportions, it's not hard to see how he quickly rose back up the ranks, even going southpaw. Tristan Lee most people's image of a bodybuilder is that of a huge, jacked, grown man who's put years of dedication into their physique, and, well, Tristan Lee does meet most of those criteria, except of course for the grown part. That's because, believe it or not, this shredded gym rat is actually just 17 years old. Hailing from California originally, Tristan blew up, not just physically, but also metaphorically, when he posted his bodybuilding feats online, currently hailing a following of over 1.3 million Instagram followers. What's the secret to this kid's absurd success. We're going to need details. Copious details. Well, the secret is there is no secret. Just consistent hard work, dieting, and dedicating almost all his free time to the gym. The teenage phenomenon wakes up every day at about 4 a.m., eats, and hits the gym before class. And while to the uninitiated, this lifestyle might seem hard, it's Tristan's dream to win a handful of bodybuilding titles, as well as to become a professional soccer player, so he is quite literally chasing his goals. Whatever he ends up doing, it's pretty clear that Tristan Lee has got a very big future ahead of him. Troy James Canadian acrobat Troy James is the very essence of the phrase, don't try this at home. A naturally gifted contortionist from birth, Troy has trained his entire life to master the art of bending his body in ways that seem entirely otherworldly. In fact, he's gotten so good at moving in ways that are totally inhuman that he's regularly cast to play monsters and demons in movies and TV shows. Believe it or not, Troy actually hid his crazy contorting abilities until high school after suffering some bullying at a younger age, and as you can imagine, he was suddenly the coolest guy in school when he started showing off these unbelievable moves. There are some people who still get a little freaked out by Troy's talents, and it's not hard to see why, but these detractors only serve to encourage him these days, and who can blame him? After all, he's made a living off of his passion, which is more than most people can say. Romario dos Santos Alves Typically, people who do things like exercise and go to the gym do it in order to get their dream bodies, but instead of turning to sports supplements, Romario Dos Santos Alves turned to cosmetic medicine in the pursuit of the perfect body. That's right, did you really think these insane proportions were just the result of a regimented gym routine? Romario owes most of his astonishing 25-inch biceps and other colossal muscles to a substance known as synthol, a chemical pumped directly into muscles to artificially make them look larger. After years of pursuing his dream physique through less than kosher methods, Romario learned that if he kept going, he would have to have his arms, the things he had worked so long to gain, amputated. Luckily, Romario got smart and took to bodybuilding the natural way before reaching the point of no return. Either way, the synthol remains in his system, and he walks around looking like the Incredible Hulk to this day. While some people are frightened by the sight of him, tons of kids come up to him and ask to take pictures as if they're meeting a real-life superhero. That kind of encouragement is what pushes Romario to keep building his body the natural way, with hard work and dedication. Nonetheless, he's gotten a pretty big head start on that dream body of his. Kevin Richardson 
Most people think that it's impossible for humans to talk to animals, or at least for us to be truly understood by one another. However, zoologist and animal behaviorist Kevin Richardson would beg to differ. Kevin has made it his life's mission to get to know wild animals in a very personal manner, and through years of studies and hands-on communication, he's earned himself the nickname, The Lion Whisperer. Kevin's formed loving bonds with wild animals like hyenas, lions, and other big cats, and he's radically changed the way zoology understands these animals. Unlike some people who seek to tame wild animals with force, Kevin has figured out how to be accepted by pride of lions and other animals through mutual respect, compassion, and love. He's quickly been welcomed as part of the family by the types of carnivores that could easily tear him limb from limb. And while watching him work with these animals might make you think that he's got some sort of lion whispering superpower, there are still very real dangers associated with his work. Despite several injuries throughout his long career though, Kevin has never strayed from his compassionate approach to befriending wildlife, and his work has taught us more about animal behavior than anyone who ever came before him. Elaine Robert Known to many as the French Spider-Man, with how many times Elaine Robert has been arrested, he might have more in common with the Green Goblin than Peter Parker. At the age of 57, Elaine is one of the most amazing daredevils the world has ever seen. The French native has made a name and a career for himself by climbing the tallest buildings in the world exclusively by hand without any safety equipment or harnesses whatsoever. Watching him climb is apparently more nerve-wracking than actually climbing is for him, as Elaine claims that he has no fear and really feels more alive than ever when he's tackling a climb, and that includes the fear of getting arrested, which is something that happens to him on a regular basis. In fact, Elaine says that he can't even remember how many times he's been arrested for his unapproved climbs all over the world, but charges never seem to stick, as the public adores his crazy feats of athleticism and bravery so much that tourism to cities he's climbed in notably rises once videos of him hit the web. As one of the best free urban climbers in the world, it's probably not surprising that Elaine has racked up a hefty stack of world records including the most buildings climbed, breaking the record at 121 buildings at the time, but with that number currently closer to 200, and the fastest climb of the Burj Khalifa, the tallest building on the planet, standing a towering 2,720 feet high in 6 hours and 13 minutes. Clearly his age isn't slowing him down one bit, and Elaine Roberts plans on continuing to shock the world with his astounding climbs for a very, very long time to come. Eskil Ronenbakken if you're afraid of heights, you'll probably get some serious anxiety from watching Eskil Ronenbakken's incredible performances. The Norwegian-born balance artist has been training to perfect his insane feats from the young age of five, jumping from one circus troupe to another. Today, Eskil travels the world performing more and more death-defying stunts that take nerves of steel just to watch, including balancing on a stack of chairs on a rock wedged between two 3,500-foot-high cliffs, riding a bicycle with his hands across a tightrope 1,000 feet up and even balancing on a tightrope suspended between two hot air balloons. He challenges death itself as he doesn't use safety wires and relies solely on his professionalism and skills. The skill's current dream is to do a one-handed handstand at the top of the Burj Khalifa, the tallest building on earth, but the stunt is too dangerous for him to get clearance just yet. Still, that doesn't stop his skill from pushing the boundaries of what's possible with the human body every single day. Dean Karnazes Superheroes are all the rage at the box office these days, but outside the big screen, superpowers aren't actually real, right? Well, if you thought that, meet Dean Kamazis, the distance runner with a superpower that literally doesn't let him get tired. Dean has been called the man who can run forever with his crazy ultra marathon skills. He's run for three days and nights straight, even occasionally falling asleep while still in motion without missing a step. While most people get sore and achy after running for too long, Dean's body literally does not produce the signals to tell him to stop, so he experiences absolutely no fatigue from running. He's even pushed himself to see how far he can take this superpower of his, running marathons at the South Pole at temperatures of minus 25 degrees Celsius and competing in the Marathon des Sable, a six-day ultra-marathon through the Sahara Desert. Dean has no intention of stopping nor slowing down anytime soon, and with his stamina, why would he ever want to? Shifu Shi Yang Ming 
Shaolin monks are an ancient order shrouded in myth and legend, and made out to be nearly superhuman in pop culture. Something about their ascetic way of life and incredible discipline seems to make them rise up in stature to the average person. Shaolin monks spend their lives practicing martial arts and Buddhist philosophy, sometimes meditating for days on end and pushing the boundaries of not just the body, but also the mind and the spirit. From among the tradition of these warriors, Shifu Shi Yanming is possibly one of the most influential in spreading Shaolin teachings to the West. After defecting from communist China to live in New York, Ming did what he knew best and began his own Shaolin Academy, and quickly attracted the attention of some of the most famous people in the world who witnessed his skill in the art. He's even been featured in a number of movies. To this day, Ming's school attracts students from all over the world who are simply drawn to the mysterious ways of the Shaolin monk. Zion Clark Wrestling is one of the oldest sports around, and those who compete in it today keep the gladiator spirit of its roots alive. Of these modern wrestlers, there probably isn't anyone who embodies the mentality of a gladiator more than Zion Clark. Born with a rare genetic condition known as caudal regression syndrome, Zion was born without legs and put through the difficult foster care system. While some people might let this get them down, Zion only used these experiences as fuel to propel his wrestling skills forward. Having incredible upper body strength from walking on his hands, Zion was a natural and took to training quickly, even making it all the way to the semifinals during his senior year in high school. At the age of 21, Zion currently studies business on a wrestling scholarship and has started competing and doing fantastically in Paralympic wheelchair races, where he became the fastest man in Ohio by 2016. Currently, Zion has his eyes locked on heading to the 2020 Olympic Games, and if his incredible story tells us anything, it's that the words tattooed on his back are a mantra we should all live by. No excuses. Psst, hey, you still there? Well, since you made it this far, here are all the shoutouts we promised everyone that commented on our previous video. If you want to be shouted out in our next upcoming video as well as the ones prior, just make sure you're subscribed to the channel and leave a comment down below saying, pick me. Once you're at it, you might as well leave a like too. Thanks for watching.